Hey everybody, it's Mike from Anticipate or Anticipate underscore reviews on Instagram. Today I'm here to bring you the Steel Vape Tech Sabone Mod Kit. Um, it is a hybrid mechanical mod, so it takes the 18650. Make sure that your batteries are good whenever you use this. You don't want to use anything that's bad and don't use anything that has a, oh, less than a 3 millimeter 510 pin. Um, let me flip around my camera real quick, show you what box it came in. Oh my Jesus, I dropped my camera. I totally dropped it, man. Totally. It's okay. Let's just fucking roll with it. I know you're not supposed to cuss on YouTube, but fuck it. Oh, hey, I was supposed to flip that around. Um... I can't figure out how to flip this around, so I'm going to... Okay, well, this is the box that it came in. Sorry, guys. It says Sabone Mod Kit on the front. As you can see, I've had mine for a little while. Uh, they sent it to me about three weeks ago for the purpose of this review. And on the back, it actually says standard configuration. One Sabone Mod, one Sabone RDA, one accessory bag. Wow, you see what I see, guys? They misspelled accessories. A um, still vape tech. There's an R in accessories, not A C C E S S O I E S. It's there's an R in there. I'm pretty positive, and I think the whole United States will agree with me. And it's also got one center cap. Um, so, as you can see, this is the the flavor RDA actually. I've got a different drip tip on here. The original one I've got sitting somewhere. Um, anyways, it's goon compatible on the flavor cap. So I've got my favorite goon drip tip on there. And as you can tell, there is actually no adjustable airflow, which kind of sucks on this one. Really wish it actually had adjustable airflow. But as you can see on the front here, it says steel vape. That was pretty good. I've been using it for about three weeks and you know, I've been using both caps evenly. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of dirt in there. You can tell I'm not lying. And here is the other one. Now this one, give me one second here. I'll actually go up here on the up on the computer so you can actually see it is steelvapetech.com scroll down uh, as you can tell the uh, flavor now uh, it says that the RDA is actually 26 millimeters tall uh, by 24 millimeters wide and then it's 85 tall for your uh, mech so that's pretty good and it's got eight millimeter deep juice well it should be a deep juice well <laughs> we'll scroll down it's got the Chinese dragon totem so if you're wondering what that eyeball thingy is they say it's a totem it looks like an eyeball just leave it at an eyeball it's actually got a recess style switch and you've got your venting holes. Uh, hybrid style contacts, which you've already seen. The design I kept thinking was a fish scale, but they're saying it's a dragon sail, so. Pretty massive. Okay, so there we go. 3 by 45 millimeter for your uh, builds, if you want to do a build on there. Silver plated copper 510 pin. All right, so that's what they say on there. Now, for what I've been, for what I've noticed on this, it's actually a pretty solid mod. Um, my biggest thing whenever I got it was actually the two screws down here at the bottom. 
the negative and the positive, they came loose, which also caused my post to kind of fall in, um, which was no biggie. I just got a screwdriver and tighten it down, but it kind of sucks whenever you're out on the road, then you have to flip to another mod. So make sure that you all tighten your screws whenever you first get it. Now, since it is a hybrid, you can actually put your battery in either way. Um, it's got nice venting slots there and there. These are all actually etched in. All the threads are so, so perfect. Uh, I can't really think of any cons besides the, the screws at the bottom and the fact that it doesn't have a magnet style button. It's actually got spring style, but it's a pretty good mod. Um, you can pick them up for around 80 bucks online. Uh, depends on where you go. I know Steel Vape Tech, they have them. Depends on if you want to talk to a Chinese person or not. <laughs> We're gonna take that out anyways. Okay, so, gone here. Where, where's prices? Oh, wow, they don't have prices on here. That kinda sucks. Anyways, they're saying that it's around 70 bucks, so. Get online, $70. Okay, so I've already got my build on here, which is a 7 wrap. Oh, man, you can't see where crap on there. Well, I'll take my word for it. It's a 7-loop braid. Um, comes in right at about 1.5 uh, millimeters, and I've still got a lot of room on this deck to build. The grub screws, they are pretty massive. You can't strip those out. The build deck is amazing. It's eight millimeters for juice capacity. I mean, you can you can definitely, definitely get anything in there that you want. Or it's eight millimeters deep. Um, so depending on how much juice you actually want to put in there, heck, put a whole bottle, who cares? Waste a little bit of juice. Let's give her a vape. Yeah, I'm gonna put my flavor cap back on because I like that thing. And what I'm vaping on today is simply, uh, simply watermelon. Actually, it's simply fruit. Uh, go on to Instagram, S I M P L Y F R U I T. Add them on Instagram. Go and get yourself some juice. I like my three nick. Um, they've actually got all kinds of flavors. They sent me over the the fruity kind. And then they also sent me this. Love the cocoa. And this is cocoa melon. Or melon. Cocoa melon. <laughs> and then they've got cocoa banana, cocoa strawberry. Uh, they sent me the watermelon. They sent me apples, strawberry, and pineapple I think I had a pineapple in there too um, I let somebody use a little bit and I think they put it in their pocket so well that's it guys I hope you like this review um, this is my first video so Give me some pointers. Give me some advice. Let me know what you think. Do you like the beard? Do you like the hair? Do you like, maybe if I had a hat, maybe if I covered this up. Maybe if there's too much light, too less light. Just let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Also, like and subscribe. Uh, and again, make sure you know Ohm's Law and practice battery safety. Uh, don't go below a 0.15. If you do, then just be very, very cautious. Don't go below a 0.1, for real. That's when venting happens. Um, then go out and support vaping. I mean, get into some local pages, uh, talk to people in the community, get people off those icky, icky cigarette, tobacco, 
or pipe tobacco, cigars, any of that tobacco shit. Get that shit out of here. Vape on, my friends.